Hey everyone, Jamie here. So it's Sunday. My surgery on my ankle and leg was on Tuesday and it was worse than they thought. So I have a lot of screws in there. I broke my fibula pretty bad. So it goes up about four and a half, five inches and then uh, two parts on my ankle that they had to fix. So um, right now I am currently in a walking boot, which is instead of a cast, it's this boot that they pump up with air. It's pretty interesting. There's like a, a little section that you squeeze to pump up the air and then you just turn a knob to release all the air. I am ordered not to touch it. <laughs> They'll look at it in uh, the two week follow up appointment and um, we'll go from there. But for now I'm ordered 24 seven bed rest which has been really difficult for me, finally feeling better than I have in my entire life, to being a klutz and breaking my ankle and leg, to being forced to lay in bed all the time. So thank goodness I have a motorized bed, a Tempur-Pedic, that I can keep my torso flat and raise my leg up as high as I need to. Um, when you elevate a broken leg, you're supposed to have it above your heart and your torso is supposed to be flat for circulation. So I am stuck in bed. It's been very difficult. Um, I have to wash my hair in the kitchen sink and that's, it just really drains me. It takes a lot of energy to do that. So I'm just washing my hair when I absolutely have to. And of course, uh, post my surgery, I still have bathroom issues. So sometimes I'm racing to get to my wheelchair to get to the bathroom. So that is not fun. By the way, don't listen to people when they tell you that if you normally have these digestive issues, you do not need to take your um, anti-diarrheals because you'll be on opioids and you won't have that problem. It's bullshit. So anyway, um, it's been quite interesting over here. I'm just tired of being in bed and it'll be at least two weeks before we consider me walking. Um, but we were told that it might be two to three months before I can start walking again. And um, yesterday was the worst day of my life. I've never been depressed like that. And um, it's a combination of the meds and what I'm going through. Um, it's just really hard, you know, beautiful days and so much to do and I'm stuck here. And at the same time, I am not treating my cancer because we aren't really sure if it's safe to resume that right now on top of me needing to stay in bed. So. That's pretty scary knowing that it's just doing its thing in there and hopefully uh, the last dose of immunotherapy is still kicking butt. So uh, yeah, I'm just freaking out and I'm not doing too well, um, but I'll get through it. And um, thank goodness for my dog. She's in here with me all the time. <laughs> she does not want to leave my side, but I'm making her depressed too. So it's just not good all around. I'm really looking forward to getting through this though and uh, seeing my goats and just doing normal things again, like walking. I mean, the things we take for granted. Anyway, I hope you guys all are having a good weekend and I will update you again soon. Bye.